Well, as usual, I'm using uh, scrapyard uh, Briggs engines. Now, these ones being lawnmowers, but uh, I'm, I'm already into my first repair here. Uh, the uh, oil uh, fill hole here in this one uh, broke out, so uh, it's being tossed in the scrap pile probably. So I uh, screwed in and then JB welded a uh, pipe uh, adapter in there. So basically, I got a small little. Three-eighths to quarter-inch, uh, quarter-inch pipe plug in there, so uh, I can add oil to it. Uh, I've made the occasional engine where I had to. I don't know. I went in through the back or something, but uh, but anyway, the other thing I'm doing different on this one. Normally, I uh, cut my cardboard base out, uh, kind of uh, this shape here, and then uh, drop the drop the engines in, and it it bolts right down onto the uh, plywood. But uh, seeing that I got to do it for five. Minutes, here. I thought that was an awful lot of uh, complicated uh, jigsaw cutting. It takes a long time. you got to be pretty accurate. The engine won't fit. So uh, what, what I'm doing instead is uh, making these uh, washers so they'll stand up. The engines will uh, stand up on top of these uh, little uh, tech washers here and uh, then uh, so I'll only have to drill a few holes in uh, holes for the crankshafts and uh, Probably the oil plug uh, in them there. So, but uh, got to do mass production here because I got to make 15 of them. So, money. Uh, you know, you got to you got to cut them to length. That's why I got them marked. I cut them in groups of three and then uh, sanded them off. And now I have to uh, file them out. You got to get get all the furs out of them there on both ends. And yeah, it's quite a lot of work, especially when you get 15 of them. It's basically in, in mass production here. So, anyway, we'll. Uh, make another video about this here. So I got uh, three uh, late 70s uh, Briggses here, three and a half horses and uh, unfortunately on two out of the three they've got this funny, uh, this is where the oil plug fits in here and uh, these particular ones had uh, a rubber, little rubber thing that screws in and then a dipstick tube that pushes into that kind of a strange setup, but uh, but unfortunately uh, I don't uh, usually run the, the dipstick there, I just uh, screw in the, the regular little uh, short plug there, but as you can see here it's uh, it's been squashed on this side so that it's no longer round, so the plug won't screw in, and uh, as you saw by my broken dipstick tube there, uh, I don't have enough uh, intact dipstick tubes to use that so what I'm going to try is uh, drilling it out and uh, tapping it uh, for half inch uh, pipe, steel pipe so we'll uh, let you know how that goes on this repair well I was able to uh, tap some half inch pipe threads in there the side decided to break out there while I was drilling but uh, I couldn't go uh, extremely deep for a couple of reasons uh, you know, um, drill bit doesn't drill all the way down plus uh, the taper tap and things but uh, main reason was I didn't have quite the right size uh, uh, drill bit I used uh, 11 16 instead of 23 30 seconds so it was a little small but anyways got a piece of half inch pipe here and uh, let's see, it does indeed screw in I think I'll do a little JB weld repair there and uh, I'll be using a uh, pipe plug to seal up the uh, the oil fill hole there, so it looks like it should work out pretty good. Mm -hmm. 